Welcome, my friends. So glad you could join me. My name is Wonka. Today, we're playing Forza Horizon 4. And if you guys are still enjoying, you want to see more, if there's any episodes you want to see, any cards you want to see, anything in particular you want to see, let me know. By tickling that like button, leave me a comment down below. As always, if you're new here or you haven't already, be sure to punch your golden ticket by hitting that subscribe button. Without further ado, I hope you guys enjoy, and I think you will. So we got the uh, Chevy Silverado. And boy, oh boy, is it looking nice. Nice little, little bit of camber on those wheels. Mm, this is completely stock how it comes. I like the little the little sticker bombing going on in the bottom corner bottom corner there. And um, ducktail's nice. You know, you got the PC fans in the back. It's great, you know, it's a good car. Oh, camo on the steering wheel. I like it. Um, I'm not very familiar with the Formula Drift scene. I believe that's what this is. I'm pretty sure it's a Formula Drift car. Um, if it's not, it should be because it drifts very well. Um, I took this thing for a little bit of a Forza-thon just because the opportunity arose and I need the points. And um, it's quite easy to drift. No tune, no upgrades, nothing. And it already drives like a charm. In case you don't believe me, we're here on the side of uh, Drift Mountain. Woo. And it frickin' guns it. Oh, it drifts so good. So this is part of the car pass this week, this particular vehicle. Um, and if you have the car pass, I recommend grabbing this one, putting it in your garage. It is 100% worth it. The Ferrari FF FXX last week, this thing this week, it's pretty good. It's, it's not bad. Car pass is looking pretty damn good lately. Oh, uh, watch your mini. Um, and yeah, like you, you could probably see... Not that hard to drift, um, even in the snow. Now, off-road, this thing can barely go up the side of the hill because of how much power and lack of grip it honestly has, especially in the snow. But otherwise, it's, it's pretty controllable considering, you know? Considering you're going sideways into stuff, and it makes it look easy. Extreme angles, you can hold them. You can go in pretty hot into corners. I mean, obviously there's a limit, but you can go in pretty damn quick. And uh, this thing just grips it and rips it. And it doesn't really give a damn. Hold it. Oh. See, you can get a little bit, a little bit out there. I might have been able to gas out of that one a little bit if I wasn't such a pussy, you know what I mean? But there it is. 61 miles per hour. Not the fastest. But considering I was going sideways most of the time, it's pretty good. So we do have a new car in the winter shop, or in the seasonal shop. The legendary 2016 Hoonigan Gymkhana 10 Ford Focus RS. RX rally sport rally cross is that what that means but it's pretty cool I was a little bit disappointed in the last Hoonigan vehicle that they came out with so I'm hesitant on it but I think I'm gonna bite the bullet and get it because you may never get a chance to get this vehicle again and today happens to be a drift episode because I mean we got a Hoonigan car here we got the seasonal car which is a formula drift car um, we got this Renault here. Oh, no, no. Okay, thank God I don't have enough. I don't want it. Um, it's all right. It's cool. And if I was rolling in these points, I would just buy everything that comes into the shop here. But I'm going to pick and choose on the Forza Edition cars. The other cars, though, they're generally cars you can't find in the shop or in the regular dealerships. So I, I like to pick them up when I get the chance. So um, I guess we might as well go for a little spin here on Drift Mountain. Oh, I went a little too far into my house. 
It's weird that the, like... Jesus, dude. Are you okay? Oh, I hear him. He's, he seems alright. Oh, he's there he goes, up the mountain. Okay. I'll see you later. Let's check this Hoonigan car out. Might as well. Our Hoonigan collection is getting pretty big. It's it's not bad. It's not terrible. Especially considering none of these cars have been free. Um, not too shabby. Not too shabby at all. So we got our Gymkhana 10 Ford Fiesta. We got our Gymkhana 9 Ford Focus. Now we've got the upgraded Gymkhana 10 version of that Ford Focus. And then we got the uh, Huna truck. We got the Escort, which is actually one of my favorites. I like the Escort quite a bit. And then, of course, we've got Hoonicorn. Gymkhana 10 edition. We don't have the other ones. The other ones I could buy. They're a little expensive. Oh, and of course, we have the Chevrolet Bel Air, uh, which I just happened to purchase going to be using that later in a, in a later episode but for now let's take this one for a cruise I like our little Hoonigan collection you know I was almost not going to buy this car but I'm kind of glad that I did I like the rims on it it's pretty cool damn okay okay another quality paint job I really like the gray like it's it looks like candy almost I like I want to eat it the car just looks so damn good it looks tasty Oh, and the Hoonigan, oh man, at the back, that's cool. On that grill there, that's pretty badass. Okay. Okay. Potentially, they heard the, um, they heard my cries over the last one, and they made this one crazy as hell. Fuck the Fiesta. The Focus, oh my god, lady. I don't know if it was a lady. That was pretty sexist of me to assume. Um, but the focus is um, top notch. Top quality. Especially in the snow here. I thought I was going to be way farther off the road than that. The fact that this thing held that. And the fact that this thing just fifth gear pulled like that. That was pretty amazing too. This thing's just badass. I'm glad I bought it. It was a good purchase. And with a tune and um, some upgraded parts, this thing's probably pretty sweet. And at the end of the day, I'm also about having little collections, you know? So we got our Mario Kart collection coming up. If you haven't seen that episode, I suggest checking it out. It was pretty, it's a pretty cool start to that series. We got our cop series which we're going to be adding to that collection very soon and then we uh, uh oh getting a little out of control here and we have our hoonigan collection we got a bit of a formula drift collection going that was my turn well the house is back in this direction so um <laughs> we're gonna head back in this direction no matter what i guess and that was, um, that was quite the what. I didn't expect it to be A, that big of a jump, and B, I didn't expect to hit that rock so perfectly and horribly at the same time. Because that would have been a horrifying crash. You would have had time to write your will while you're in the air it's so damn high up. I think I saw an animal. Maybe not. It's gone now, if it was. I'm sure you know what time it is. It's time to spin some wheels and find our second wheel spin drift car. Hopefully we don't have to waste too many of these, although we have quite a few. Great. Good start. We could have had a Civic Type R, which we could have potentially converted to rear wheel drive, or a Jaguar. Both could have potentially been decent drift cars, but instead we get a stupid hat and... Uh, I'll probably never end up wearing it, to be honest. Oh, so close. Mercedes-Benz or an XB Falcon GT. Both could have been drift cars. But instead, we get 160000 which I'm not complaining. I mean, that's good money that we could use to upgrade our drift car once we get it. We just gotta get it. 
it's toying with me. Ferrari RS500. No, we give you the one in the middle again. I see what it is. Spin 69. You know it's going to be a good one. Although I haven't seen many cars. That's what... That's what you want me... Okay. I mean, the GTR could have been fun. But alright. If that's the drift car that you... Um, well, what do you want me to say? I mean, that's... It's going to be an interesting one. I actually was going to buy this car one day, at least. Um, but I guess it's come. that day is coming a little bit sooner. I'm pretty sure this car has numerous modifications that we can do to it. Make it a hot rod or whatever. Keep it classic like this. We'll see. I mean, I don't think drift car is what Mr. Ford had in mind when he made this thing. But he, he'd probably approve. He... Well, he probably doesn't get to choose. I'm going to do it anyway. So, um, let's go into upgrades and tuning. And, uh, we do have two body kit presets. Which, um, I don't know if I want to look at. It kind of spoilers everything, you know? Let's look at them after. Let's look at them after. We don't want to, we don't want any spoilers. We want to be able to discover this for ourselves. Because there's lots and lots of different options here. So we got the Hot Rod Forza Horizon 4 conversion. I love the snow on the wheels. It's pretty awesome. So we're removing a lot. The um, the lights get moved uh, to a new position. Um, and lots and lots of stuff gets removed. It's not bad. I don't mind it. Um, oh, and I accidentally went to the other hot rod conversion, which uh, has some fenders still. Personally, if we're going to do the conversion, I say we keep the fenders. It's probably a pretty good idea. It drops down, too. It's, it's pretty bouncy. And then the other option we got here is we can remove the bumper... Whoa, is that a, ch whoa, whoa, okay, chop the top down, that's pretty cool, or a ducktail, that's not as cool, um, we can remove the saddlebag looking thing and the bumper, and, uh, oh, we can remove some of the hood, expose a little bit of that engine, hmm, hmm. The question is, do we keep all this goofy stuff on it? Probably not, although I still think it would be hilarious to see a drift car go down the street that looks like this. You know, hot rodded out is still like, you know, it's cool, but it's not as like goofy, you know, seeing that drift. But it's still goofy. It's still pretty goofy. Looks a little bit naked, but I like it. I think we'll go with it. I don't know. Drifting it like this, though, is so tempting. Alright, I, I got a new trick for solving this, alright? We're gonna do, um, this one is heads, and uh, this one is tails, alright? No, wait, 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 wait. I got, I got a better idea. This one's actually better than heads and tails. We'll do, this one is, um, odds. This one is evens. Okay, here we go. Roll a dice. You heard her. It's five. So we're doing odds, which means we're going with the hot rod kit. If you would like me to change it or do any of the modifications that you see here, let me know. Because if you suggest it, I'll do it. Um, so we're going to do that visual-wise. We're going to, hmm, to remove the bumper or keep the bumper. I think we remove the bumper on the front. We keep... Oh, no, 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 sorry. We chopped the top. I thought that was the rear bumper. We keep the saddlebag, though, and everything on the back. I think that's pretty hilarious. And then we got to decide what we want to do to the hood. I do want to keep the hood there, but we'll take the sides off. I think that looks pretty good. Again, these are cheap, so if you, if you want to see something else or you think something else looks better than what I'm doing here, let me know. Feel free. Um, I believe we want to put the upgraded V8 in it, 6.2 or a 5.2.
So the 5.2 liter V8 is a Ford Shelby GT motor, the GT350R. So uh, Google claims this engine to be from a Chevy, Chevy Supersport, I think it said. But uh, maybe it's from like a Raptor or something. I don't know. I guess the Shelby engine's probably the better one. Either that or you just use the stock engine and try <laughs> try and drift with an all original engine. That's kind of funny. Keep the old car like all original engine. Just maybe try and like turbocharge it. Maybe that'll be enough power. I don't I don't know. Let's say we supercharge it. Okay. And then um, we're going to need to do some of this stuff anyways. So put the drift suspension on it. Damn. Look at it bounce. And then when it drops on this, it's just nothing. Bouncing. Nothing. I kind of want to take it out bouncy and all though real quick. Just to see what we're working with. Let's see if this engine supercharged unupgraded. Obviously we could throw some upgrades on the engine. Make it a fair bit faster. But let's just see if this will spin tire as is. I gotta take it for a little bit of a test drive. Feel this thing out. Listen to it purr. Is there a cat in the trunk? I have a feeling this isn't gonna do anything that we want it to do just yet. It is in the snow, so if ever there was a time for it to potentially slide, it's it's not it's definitely not gonna slide. <laughs> Even with the supercharger. I'm pretty sure we need to throw a V8 in this thing if we want to slide at all. Like, even there. Oh, one tire seems to be sliding. The other tire was just like, nope, I'm gripping hard. So I either try to upgrade this thing a little bit more, keep the supercharger, and just try to upgrade the supercharger, upgrade the engine. Or I throw the V8 in it and I don't touch the engine. At all. I still think it would be kind of funny to keep it all original. But I don't know if I'm going to get enough horsepower out of this thing. So it currently has 78 horsepower. I don't think I can get enough horsepower out of this thing. Even with like oh, 120 with the cams. Oh boy, I don't know. Alright, let's throw it all in the cart here. We won't buy it just yet. But we'll throw everything we pretty much can to make it faster. So we're looking at 234 horsepower for $32,500. Is it enough? I don't think so. It might be enough. It's just risky because if it's not enough and it's and it's crap, then I'm I've wasted $32,000 and I'll have to switch the engine. So the 5.2 liter V8 gives me 526 horsepower. Which I guarantee I could drift with that just by itself. How much is that engine? It's 25 grand. Eh, it wouldn't be that bad. All right, let's try it. Screw it. Probably regret it, but screw it. I mean, upgrades for it are pretty cheap, I guess, because it's a pretty shitty engine or something. I don't know. Um. We should probably stiffen it up, otherwise we're going to have a bad time. I think full cage is a little bit overkill, although it looks pretty cool in this. It's kind of like stealthed in there a little bit. Let's do it. We'll go full cage, and then we'll make this thing a little bit lighter. Yeah, we'll make this thing as light as we can because these things are pretty heavy, and that might help us slide a little bit more as is too. So now we're worked up to about 50 grand. But hopefully, I don't eat the cost of the engine. So we'll do a little bit of tuning here. I haven't driven it yet, so I don't even know what we're working with. Oh yeah, I wanted to drive it bouncy for a little bit, so I never actually put the drift suspension on it. Should probably put that on, huh? Still kind of want to drive it bouncy, but you know. Should probably put the drift suspension on. It makes sense. So I, I locked the diff and stiffened it up a little bit, did some minor stuff, put some camber on the back wheels and stuff, mainly for style points, and to give us a little less tire on the ground, which in turn might give us a little bit more, um, or a little less traction. 
My front wheels don't seem cambered though, which is weird. It might just be enough to get this old girl to drift. Not, you know, well. But I think she's drifting. Oh my god, there's a plow going down the road. I'm trying to drift out here, man. You know what? It's it's not great. But I think 500 horsepower would have been a little insane. Which isn't bad, you know. Insane drift cars are cool and all. Formula drift and stuff. But I kind of wanted to make like more of like a, a newbie, like, goofing around drift car, you know? Like, some guys threw together a drift car in an old shell of a... Ford Deluxe. <laughs> it's working. Could probably push maybe a little more acceleration out of it. Out of the ratios so that it... It's not bad. It's not terrible. It's not great. It doesn't hold a drift forever. It doesn't spin tire like for days like some vehicles will. But I mean, for original engine with just a supercharger, I think it's pretty pretty funny. Will it still be able to drift when we're not in winter? That's that's a tough call. But as of right now, it's drifting. It holds pretty good angles. Uh-oh. It's, it's like, um, you know, someone who buys a 240 but just does some minor stuff to it and takes it out drifting and just, you know, it's not a serious drifter, but he just likes to drift for fun. That's kind of what I was going for with this thing because it's not really a serious drifter kind of car, in my opinion, um, being a old-school Ford. Uh, we could have probably made it with the V8, and again, if you want to see any of those modifications, including the V8 engine, let me know. I'll be more than happy to do it. But I don't know. I kind of, I kind of wanted to do something that's not crazy, not just like dummy quick, and but still can drift. You know. So I, I like the little bit of lower speed drift cars as well. Uh, I could just use like a little bit more power. But there's no way for me to squeeze more power out of it without putting it... Yikes. There's no way for me to squeeze anything else out of it without putting the V8 into it, is what I was trying to say before I was so rudely interrupted by going into the fence. I really should be going to that Forza-thon because I could use the points right now. Oh, there's a drift zone there. I should have done that. I'm doing my own drift zone. My drift zone is the world. And my score judges are you guys. Even though you'll probably give me a bad score. <laughs> oh no. Oh no, 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 no. I like it. I like the sound of the car too. Which is also a good reason to keep that engine. Uh oh. Going for a 360. <laughs> Somewhat. We don't really have the uh, power to do a 360, I don't think. Unless we get like a real good spin going. But you know what? I like it. So let me know what color you want to see this thing. If you want to see any specific designs on it. We're going to do a design episode pretty soon. Because you guys requested that I do that. So we'll check that out. Hey, get your camping ass out of here. I look like that person had the camping thing on their roof. I don't know. But of course, as per all traditional drift club days or drift days wheel spin days even though this is only the second one let me know if you want to see a third one um, but as per all of these days we go in to this this here drift club top secret shh don't talk about drift club facility oh snowman got him every every game with snow has a snow and cars has a snowman for people to hit with their cars. What is what is with this? Is this like a fetish I'm not aware of? Good news. 
Drift Club membership is climbing steadily thanks to you. As soon as I get the membership cards and name badges ready, you'll be the first to know. I'd like us to be known as an inclusive club. You don't need a Japanese performance machine to throw around. An American performance machine will do very nicely too. I, I thought this club was supposed to be exclusive. This route is quite lengthy, so you'll need a good bit of forward as well as sideways. But I guess in the day and age of uh, don't bully me, you, you got a lot of people that are going to be upset if you're an inclusive or exclusive and not inclusive. The points go up so fast, it's insane. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Am I a demon? No, just a Hellcat. Just a Hellcat. <laughs> just a Hellcat. I'm, I'm so um, privileged. Force equals mass times acceleration minus friction. Drifting is all mathematics. You see, I do like mathematics. Oh. Though you might say it's as easy as braking on the way into the turn to make the back lively. This shifts weight onto the front of the car, increasing grip and reducing weight on the rear wheels. Hmm. Not bad, but do I need to explain again about power to weight ratios? How come my math teacher never took me out drifting? Like, why didn't we have a drift class? That would have been great. I think I would have understood math a lot better if you taught it to me that way. Well, not that I didn't understand it, but like, you know. Let me rephrase that. I think I would have wanted to go to math class a lot more. Oh my god. Are you okay? Is the Hellcat okay? I don't give a damn about you. Is the car okay? Yeah, I forgot about the fact that we need to actually, like, get to this location before time runs out. Well, you certainly can't do that with engineering alone. Move it! Oh, you spun me, you bitch. I totally didn't hit you. You totally hit me and spun me. Don't try and tell the cop otherwise, you bastard. Uh-oh, wrong way. Tried to throw it one way and then back the other and it, I threw it a little too hard the one way. It's fine. We got this. Just doing a little bit of Hellcat drifting. This thing feels like a boat, which I'm pretty sure is pretty accurate to real life, so. Um, that's, at least they're getting the accuracy on that to a T, to a W. Yeah, I'm, I'm changing it up. T gets too much love, you know? R-S-T-L-N-E. It's been, it's been getting love since Wheel of Fortune days, alright? T gets way too much love. Look, I can't even say too much love without another T. That's how much love it gets. You make it look real. Liven up the rear, apply a bit of acceleration, then steer, and Robert is your father's brother. You're teaching me to drive or drift like three three missions in now? What, what are you doing? There's a nice spot on the way up to Edinburgh the drift club's been eyeing up. I think you've earned the right to have first crack and show off a little, what you reckon? I've thrown on new high grip front tires, tuned the throttle response in the computer, and lowered it on firm springs. <laughs> well, if you get a show off, and so do I. <laughs> he said computer. Putting a route down to the old rail yard. I think you'll see what I'm getting at. Is this an S2? I don't even think this is in the game. This is an S2. I'm pretty sure this is coming to the game, but I don't think this is even in the game right now. I mean, I guess it is. Maybe only as a Forza car. Or maybe as a barn find, because I haven't finished the barn finds. I probably should finish those off soon, huh? Well, not today. It drifts pretty well, considering I just threw it sideways down a straightaway and it it crab walked pretty good. I mean, I want to get three stars, which I'm not sure if that's based off time or drift points. Or a combination of the two. So I don't know if I should just keep throwing it around. Even though I have more than enough drift points. Uh oh. Uh oh. I'm just literally crashing into everything. 
Honda people everywhere. Like, what the fuck, bro? How could you do that to our pride and joy? Oh, goodness. We're good. It's not my fault. This thing's... What? Cheeky little detour down the side of what a mountain? Off you go, eh? No rush, still trip club proud. I'm really chuffed Joel persuaded you to front up our little plan. I think it's just the thing we needed. If we really want to be taken seriously, we need a bit of a personality to lead the way. A nice one. Anyway, no more said about that. Thanks for thanks for telling me that I got a personality. I appreciate that. You know, some people have told me that I'm, you know, bland like white paint on a wall. I think white paint looks good. It makes the room brighter. You know. I think that might have to bring us to the end of the episode. I would like to do a little bit of styling on this car. We'll have to do that in the next one. We got a little bit of drifting done in this. We got a little bit of drifting done. I mean, it spins tires pretty good. I think we've successfully created a drift car here. What do you think? Sir, I saw you inching closer and closer to me. You don't see me doing burnouts here? Like, yeah, you better put your four ways on. Block traffic. Hey! You know what? Get going. I don't want to see your rich ass Beamer driving SUV ass here ever again. If you're going to buy a Beamer, at least buy a car. Make sure you hit that like button. Because if you guys hit the like button for me, lots of good things happen, okay? And we can grow and do giveaways and, like, subscribe and all that good stuff, okay? Take her easy. <laughs> meow, meow.